Hey science fiction and fantasy lovers, Foxfire's here and today I'm sharing a fun and lighthearted reenactment of Elizabeth Baer's new space opera called Ancestral Night. Special thanks to Galantz for gifting me a copy to review. I'm doing an experiment with this one by splitting up the reenactment and review into two videos. If you see my other videos in this series, you know I've been doing both the review and the reenactment together in the same video. The reenactments are a lot of fun to make, but they also take a ton of time, and they tend to dominate the video length, so I'm splitting them up here to give the review a bit more room to breathe on its own, as well as give you guys a bit more control over which bits you see, since a reenactment inherently has spoilers. If you like these reenactments, be sure to share and leave a comment, and without further ado, I give you Ancestral Night. Singer! Singer, turn it off! Turn it off! Not better! Come on, I'm gonna fry that AI circuit! Make him turn it off! I am a programmer. I am without form. I'm starting to think salvaging derelict ships is the worst way to pay off our debt to society. Whoa, Kanla, come check this out. It's a dead star dragon, Kanla. If that's not a bad omen, I don't know what is. Maybe we shouldn't go for this derelict ship. Nothing to worry about, Hamy. We're pulling up on that ship now. You all suited up and ready to go? Yeah, Kanla, I read you loud and clear. I'm all suited up and I'm getting ready for that spacewalk. This salvage actually looks pretty big. This is a nice haul. Whoa, what was that? Pirates? Kanla, we're gonna do this fast and we're getting out of here. Well, I figured out what the pirates wanted. This is a drug ship. And somehow they've managed to space the entire crew that was here. Man, look at all this stuff. Ow! Something stabbed me. I think I have space plague. I'm coming back. Looks like the pirates are coming back too. Singer, take us to warp. Those pirates are still chasing us. Conla, I think the space plague is invading. It's like I can see space and time, the ripples, the gravity, the... I, I can see it all like, I get some kind of map of waves and I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I... I can navigate with this. I'm pretty sure it's not contagious, but... Of course I'm suited up, Amy. What, did you think I was just gonna leave you out there if you passed out? I was gonna come get you. Well, I'm not really worried about the space plague being contagious, but that's not the worst of our problems. Well, maybe it is, but we also need to resupply somewhere. Let's just hope we can lose the pirates. And the only place in range to resupply is, of course, on the edge of pirate space. Okay. Supply station at the edge of pirate space it is. With space plague. And don't worry. I survived growing up in a cult. I can survive space plague. And because space is really big, I guess we've got a lot of time to kill, so... I'm just gonna go read some books and hope I don't die. All things considered, I am not sure I should be reading this book. This is kind of just making me think of that poor dead star dragon. You calculated the trajectory for docking with the space station. You're the best singer. Don't. Wow, the station is pretty big. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go talk to the cops. I'm gonna let them know that we ran into pirates. Hopefully that will be enough to get us a resupply here. And hopefully no one will notice that I'm glowing. Oh, you're the space cop. That's fantastic. I really wanted to talk to you. We we ran into pirates out there at this derelict ship and the derelict ship was this, this drug ship and... And we really need resupplies. Yes, that is enough to resupply. You can trust us to handle this matter. 
Kanla? I think the pirates found us. And she's got Space Plague too. Hi there. Just wanna talk. You don't need to run. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. Kanla to Station AI. So here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna release our docking plans. Or I'm gonna go to warp while still docked. And that'll take out mm, probably a third to half of the station. An AI like you has to preserve life? Best to let us go on our way, yeah? Now, Hamie, we got away from the pirates and the station, but where are we going? I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I can see it. I can feel it. It's, it's like the space plague is guiding us. It wants us to go to the center of the galaxy. To the giant supermassive black hole. It's it's pulling us to the black hole. We ha we have to go. I know it sounds crazy. I know, I know. We have to go. Singer, lay in a course for the supermassive black hole to the center of the galaxy. Well, because space is so big, I guess we've got a lot of time to kill. I'm gonna go back to reading books and hope I still don't die from Space Plague. Wow. I did not see that coming. Yowza! These old Earth books are fantastic. Wow, Kanla, we made it! This black hole is amazing! Hey, Kanla, I was right. Inside the black hole. Well, not in it, in it, but like in the well. I can, I can sense there's something out there. I think it's a ship. You know, we thought that other ship was going to be a great derelict to salvage. This, who knows how long it's been there in that black hole. Ancient, ancient technology. I'm going to see if I can use my Space Plague to lure that ship out. I mean, the Space Plague is what guided us here in the first place. There has to be a reason. I'm gonna summon the ship. Is it working? How about now? I feel like it's moving. Conla, it's moving. I can see it coming out of the black hole. I've done it! This thing is ancient, but but look at the tech on this thing. I am suiting up and I am going over there, Conla. I already have space play. What worse could happen going over there, right? Alright, Conla, I'm all suited up. I'm going over. Wow, this place is huge. It's so massive. This is definitely going to pay off our debt to society. Oh, I found an observation deck. I can see you guys out there. Hi! Come on, the pirates are coming! Singer. Conla. Guys, can you hear me? Come on, Conla, come on, answer. Conla! Oh my gosh, guys. Well, well. Looks like this ancient tech ship is all mine now. Let's get this thing moving. Well, I'm not just gonna turn myself over to the pirate. I'm gonna find a way to avenge Conla and Singer. It's a big ship. I'll just have to be careful and... You know, make the best of this little hidey hole. Well, at least the ship's got algae vats. I won't starve to death. That's that's nice. Hmm. Hmm. Couple of decades of this won't be so bad. I wonder where the pirates taking the ship. If I could just get strong enough, maybe I could 
not just bring her to justice, but wrestle control the ship away from her. Send it back in the direction I want to go. Hopefully sooner rather than later. All right, so I'm going to practice trying to control gravity, trying to control this ancient ship using my space plague. Get this ship under my control. All right, I want to steer the ship away. Okay, I can't wrestle the ship away from her, but I think I'm strong enough to play with the gravity. I think I could use it to pin her to the deck, make her give me control of the ship. Now I just have to find her. Where is she? If she's not coming to the algae vat, how is she getting food? Because this supply spot doesn't look like a trap at all. Perfectly safe. Let me go! Let me go! This isn't fair! Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll make you a deal. You know how you grew up in a cult, right? And then you figured out that that life just wasn't for you and you, you got out, you got away. What if, what if I told you that the memories you have aren't real? Or at least you're missing a huge part of what happened. Tell you what, you let me go, I'll show you. I know how to get your memories back. All I need to do is tweak the settings on your own brain implant. All the memories are still there, they're just buried. Okay. You know so much about me, I'll do it. But here's the catch. I'm gonna chain you up to that wall over there. So if something happens to me, you're gonna starve to death. Great, I knew you'd see it my way. She's right. I remember everything now. Why would the cult have done this? Why would the pirates be do? Why would the cult and the pirates be working together? This just leaves more questions than answers. Whoa, what happened to the lights? What did you do, pirate? It's not me this time, love. It's not just the lights. We stopped moving. I'm gonna go to the observation deck and I'm gonna see what's going on. It's the cops! I am a programmer. I am without form. Singer? And Kamba. Kamba, you're alive! How did you guys survive? Hey, Amy. You didn't think I just abandoned you now, did you? How did I survive? Well, I guess I'll let you in on a little secret. Every time you do a spacewalk, I suit up. Just in case. And Singer, well, actually, he downloaded himself into this ancient ship. The lights going out, stopping, yeah, that was him. It just took him a while to get control of the ship. I'm coming over the cops. They're gonna catch that pirate, and we're going home. I can't wait to see you, Kama. Kama? The Star Dragons are here. Dozens of them. They're speaking to me. We should keep taking the ship where the pirate was taking us? We're nearly at the edge of the galaxy. What's out there? If the Star Dragons say go to the edge of the galaxy, we'll go to the edge of the galaxy. The Space Plague. It's designed from having killed a Star Dragon. Yes. I will do everything in my power to help bring this pirate to justice. Yes! Let's hunt this pirate. You gotta catch me first, boys. Yeah, just a little closer. 
right about here. Hey cops, I hope you've got that pirate because wherever we're headed, we're there. Wow, it's so massive. But what is it? It's, it's a star, but almost all the light is being blocked. It's an AI? All these little mirror platforms. Countless. Trillions, maybe. That's incredible. So each little platform is like neurons. Just a few neurons of this massive AI. Come on, are you really gonna chase me out here into space? Onto these mirror platforms? Just let me go. Every time I get in this suit, something bad happens. But I am not letting this pirate get away. You asked for it. Ta! Conla? You know how every time... I go out in one of these suits, something bad happens? Um... Something bad happened? Don't worry, homie. I got you. Where am I? How'd I get here? Hey, Amy. It's good to see you awake. We're at a hospital at the core of the galaxy. And your pirate friend is next door. Under guard, though, so no worries there. Well, we brought you to justice in the end after all. For now, maybe. But just you wait. I've got plenty of pirate friends. You think I'm gonna be here forever? Not a chance. Hey science fiction and fantasy lovers, I hope you enjoyed this lighthearted reenactment of Ancestral Night. Stay tuned for the separate review video and check out my other videos in the series too. If you like these reenactments, be sure to share them and give me a shout out in the comments. As always, thanks for watching, I'm Foxfires and this is my reenactment and review series. There we go. <laughs> We're just gonna add layers of ridiculous. Oh yeah, let's let's make this look legit. It's totally legit. That is that is an out that is definitely an astronaut right there. Oh no, the antenna are green. What if I just hold them? does look pretty cool. Run away! Don't stand in the black hole. Not bad. Oh, I do not want to do two decades of this. That's not very good. Oh, by itself. Sushi? Nori is fantastic. By itself? Mmm. Mmm. Do not recommend. Why is it so perfect out of this? That's a wrap. <laughs>